Well, that explains the weather in this town, I think. What was I going to do again? <gasps> Whoops, uh, I better over to rarities. What instrument? Is that a piano? Sounds like piano meets violin, I don't really know. I'm saying it's a piano though. Hey, Rarity, you said you needed some help? Huh, where is she? The dogs have gotten here. Who are you? Who said what? Okay, who said that? Here. It's Spike. Where it's Spike. Yeah, there he is. A baby dragon! I came to help Rarity. She said she needed some help with some outfits. And us in between, um, she doesn't like you. She's mine. Now, get! Kiss her. Uh-huh. Likely story. How do I know you're not here to steal rarity? <laughs> you're not that bright, are you? Making up such childish stories like that. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I happen to be very smart. Point proven. That's why Rarity asked me to come over and help her out today. You're a spike, right? Oh, so you've heard of me. Yeah, I'm a pretty big deal around Ponyville. Rarity mentioned you give gave her the fire ruby. Yeah, I was going to eat it, but it looks better on her. There you are! I was wondering where my little spiky wikey oh, had run off to. Me. Oh, you've come to help me? It's so good to see you again. I have a week or two to get those outfits made, but there's no harm in starting early. Spike, thank you so much for helping me today. You're just so cute! I could still use your help, but I won't keep you. I know Twilight needs you at the library. Now wait just a moment, and I'll get the outfits. I, I can't tell when she's talking to me or when she's talking to Spike. Hey, bro, do me a solid. <laughs> you shouldn't. You shouldn't have used the power of the solid. And no, I'm not going to give you her underwear. Yeah, yeah, I know. But listen, I'm supposed to go help Twilight at the library, but Rarity still needs me here, and I don't really want to leave yet. I mean, who would want to leave? Rarity's so beautiful and smart and just amazing. Don't ask me to take your place. Please don't ask me to take your place. Anyways, do me a solid. Twilight needs my help in the library, but if you weren't to help her, I could stay here with Rarity. <laughs> and pass up getting paid? <laughs> no way. Please! I got loud really quick. No. What if I paid you? My entire week's allowance. Well, Rarity did say I could do the job later. All right. Awesome. Hey, I never agreed to this. I really appreciate it. Just head over to the library. It's right down the street in the big tree. You practically can't miss it. Any idea of what she needs help with? Probably just sorting some books or making a checklist. I don't really know, but I'm sure you can handle it. All right, Spike. I'll go see what she needs. She's still mine. Sorry. Hmm. Where did Spike say the library was? Ugh! I'm bad with directions. Maybe I should ask some pony. Or maybe it's just that? Excuse me, could you point me in the direction of the library? The library? You just head down the street and take a left. Head down the street and take... It's right behind you! It's... Follow one direction on Twitter. It'll be right in front of you. A big treehouse. It already is. A treehouse. Every pony in town knows that. You must not be from around here. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> That's okay. I love meeting new ponies. I'm Rose Luck. What's your name? I'm... Okay, every time I go to tell somebody my name, something crazy happens. Just call me new pony for now. That tends to happen here a lot. Well, you mean 100% of the time? Oh no, look at the time. I really need to tend to my roses. I'll see you around, new pony. Sure thing. Thanks again, Rose Luck. I really want to know how the hell they can manage to make this entire game without ever mentioning the name of the character. Although it's definitely Devon Exeon. Totally. Doesn't look like any library I've ever seen, but... It does match the description Spike gave me.
Hello? Hi there. Welcome to Ponyville Library. Is there a particular book you're interested in? Are you Twilight Sparkle? Yes, I am. Why? Spike asked me to come over and help you today. He bribed you, didn't he? Not exactly. I should have known better than to send him over to Rarities on a day where I needed his help. Well, at least he sent some pony to help me. My name is Twilight Sparkle, which I guess you already knew. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you before. Are you from around here? I should have had Rina Chan for this. I'm sorry to the person who does the voice. Just maybe it's not Rina Chan. I don't know. I think it is. Never mind. Not originally. Oh, not originally. I grew up in Cloudsdale. Oh, so you're from Cloudsdale? I've been there before. You've been to Cloudsdale, but you're a unicorn. Wait, let me guess. Unicorn magic. Uh huh. So you're new to Ponyville then? Yeah, been there for about a week. That's terrific. I remember when I first came to Ponyville. <laughs> I thought every pony in this town was crazy. You don't say. I know it can seem that way, but they all mean well. I felt so out of place when I first came here. And it didn't help when that whole Nightmare Moon thing happened. But in the end, it all worked out. And here I am, happy to call myself a resident of Ponyville. So you were the one who handled Nightmare Moon's return? Not just me. I had help from my friends. Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Applejack, and Fluttershy. But yeah, it was mostly me. <laughs> the elements of Harmony and Vanquished Nightmare Moon. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, so what do you need help with? I think I've met pretty much all of those ponies. Are they friends of yours? Yep, they're my best friends. They're just the best group of friends any pony could ask for. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll make friends here in Ponyville. There is a bit of a trick to it, though. You have to know how to treat every pony in town. Some of them only respond to kindness. Others like a little teasing. Once you figure that out, I'm sure you'll make all sorts of friends. Have you made any friends in town? Friendship is magic after all. I would know. I've been studying it under Princess Celestia. Well, I've made a few. I made friends with a man named Derpy. Derpy? She's really nice. She comes in all the time. Next time you see her, could you let her know her book arrived? Isn't she the male pony? Sure thing. What's the name of the book? Non-Locality, Hidden Variables, and Quantum Entanglement. The Expert's Guide, Volume 3. Yeah, you, you lost me after non. Um, why is it in another language? Just tell her that her book has arrived. She'll know what it means. Will do. Anyways, you want to get started? Yes! Let's organize things. Sure, exactly what do you need? Just need to reorganize some books. Any questions? Organizing, yes! Uh... I thought that go order, I suppose. It's really simple. Currently, they are organized by genre. From within each genre, they are then organized alphabetically. Makes sense. What we'll be doing is organizing each of them alphabetically, but by series. For any of the non-academic works, if it's an academic work or journal, we'll be organizing them by subject. Then by the That's author's last name. Within that, organize them again by the city where they were published. Yes. Now, for adventure books, we need to... Well, if it's the same author, isn't it like almost the guarantee that it will be published from the same city? <laughs> How about I just do what you do? Okay, that works too. Anything else? Just, why not? There might be an Easter egg or something. <laughs> not really, but still. How many books are we organizing exactly? It's not the entire library, is it? Oh, I'd love to do the entire library today, but I don't think we'll have time. For now, just this wall here should take a little over an hour. Anything else? I'm ready. I think I'm ready to get started. Okay. Let's start by taking these books down. I then threw it on the side. Neat organized pile over here. After that, we can start putting them back. In order, of course. Okay. 
OCD. Time to get working. I get the feeling this marriage isn't exactly the life of the party. Let's get to it. Like eyes from across the room. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get when you have that song in your iPod library for too long. Whoops. You've got that one in the wrong spot. Here, let me show you. That's what happened the entire hour, isn't it? This is so much fun! Can we do this more times, please? Oh my god, I don't need to go to parties. I don't need any friends. I can just sit here organizing books. Oh my god, it's so fun. Hello? Oh, there we go. I mixed that up, didn't I? Hey, are you okay? What happened? The entire row is all out of order! No! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry! Jeez, Twilight, I thought you were dying for a moment there. Whoops. <laughs> sorry. Life of the party. I'm pretty sure she has OCD. <laughs> Not that there's something wrong with it, of course. Shift, 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 shift. Okay, I'm just gonna click. And of course, the audio dies out before I do. Good nope. job. Um, <laughs> silly me. I was so annoyed with Spike, I forgot to ask your name. Here we go. Let's see what distraction will pop up this time. It's. Hello, everyone. I'm back. How's it going, Twilight? <laughs> it's like a condom on his foot, and he's like, whoop, that's uh, nothing there. <laughs> Pushes it away. Spike, there you are. Have fun helping Rarity. One million years dungeon. Yeah, it was tons of fun. I got paid in hugs. It was pretty awesome. Looks like not only am I your number one assistant, but Rarity's too. Say that again. Oh, your number one, huh? Well... How about number one go over there and organize that bookshelf like you told me he'd do? Oh, whoops. I guess I've kind of forgot about that one. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Hey, you got me. I have a name, you know. Not like you care. Promise is a promise. Here you go. My entire week's allowance. Are you serious? <laughs> That's your entire week's allowance? Yep. It's a lot for such a short amount of time spent working, but hey, I'm a generous guy. Thanks. I'm not sure if that's good news or bad news, quite honestly. Hey, are you heading into town? Yeah, probably. I'm on my way there too. Maybe we could walk together? Sure. The library has been added to your map. What are you looking for in town? Work. Yeah. Work. I still need to furnish my home. Gonna need some more bits to pull that off. Work? Huh. I'm sure there's plenty of that around. Ponies here always need a helping hug. What's with the puns? Yeah, I've noticed that there's lots of all sorts of odd jobs to do around here. Quite frankly, I'm not really proud of a few that I've done. There are quite a few of those. And yep, the ones that you're not proud of. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Just add to it. <laughs> so, you've been working little odd jobs since you came here? Yeah, working with lightning in Cloudsdale makes you feel like you can tackle just about any job. Hmm, good point. I never thought of it that way. I guess that makes you a fairly adaptable pony. Is that what your cutie mark represents? Adaptability? My cutie mark is not something about adaptability. It's... It's two masks. One that's happy, one that's sad. Clearly, I'm an actor, so... How could you connect that to adaptability? Actually, I just took that as an excuse to describe my cutie mark to you guys. Fan art, please. Okay, just kidding. I don't really know. Maybe? What? You mean you don't know what your cutie mark means? I... No. What were you doing when you earned it? I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, 
It's a dick, isn't it? I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to. No big deal. Just don't worry about it. So, what are you looking for in town? I'm just picking up some ingredients for dinner tonight. Oh, well, that sounds... <coughs> what the... A poster? Must have been blowing down the street. Guess that's what the wind clouds chaser was talking about. Tonight at 6 p.m., Trixie will be performing at Town Hall. She can't be serious. <laughs> what? Does she really think any pony in all of Pumpkinville would go see your show? All she's going to do is sit there and tell every pony how much better she is than them. I can't believe she'd actually show her face in town again. Though, maybe she's learned her lesson. Huh? Is there something I should know about this Trixie character? Trixie is a unicorn. Like me. Her special talent is magic. She showed up a while ago and started bragging about her magical talent. The only thing she really did was try to make everyone look bad. She even bragged she could defeat an Ursa Major. But when an Ursa Minor started rampaging through Ponyville, she cowered. She lied about the Ursa Major. In the end, I had to vanquish the Ursa Minor. She's probably hated me since then. After all that, it's a wonder she would even come back to Ponyville. Maybe she learned her lesson after last time. Still, I doubt any pony in town would go see her perform again. Sounds like she's pretty self-absorbed. Yeah, she was. And going by that poster, she still is. Are you thinking of going to see her perform? Well, yeah. If she is as bad as you say she is, I might well see for myself. And maybe she's changed. Maybe. And, and you know, YOLO, changed. right? <laughs> Somehow I... <sighs> YOLO. There you are. Oh, hello. I've been looking all over for you, new pony. Come on, I found you another job. <laughs> Don't you have a life to return to? I guess they weren't joking about these job hunting keywords. Uh, another job? You're chicken, right? The one and only. <laughs> Come on, we're wasting time. Well, I was looking for work. Thanks, Scootaloo. I'll see you later, Twilight. All right. Come by the library later. Maybe we can chat some more. Yeah, that. Chat, definitely. Tuana Sparkle is now an acquaintance. Still need that auto thing. How long is this game anyway? It's just Act One, so it's. Is this the place? Uh, is this the place, Scootaloo? This is the place, Scootaloo. Looks like a an animal shelter. Her home. <laughs> this is hard. This is the place. But we need to head towards the entrance of the forest. Come on, follow me! She sounds like we're about to buy drugs. Well, that makes sense, really. Hey, Fluttershy! I brought you some help! Oh, thank you so much, Scootaloo. But you really didn't have to. I venture into the forest all the time. It's really not so bad. Is the forest really that dangerous of a place? What? I'm afraid I can't hear you. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Fluttershy. All I hear is static from your uh, semi-professional microphone. Huh? Butter pie? Um, no. It's Fluttershy. Fluttershy? Y yes Okay, Fluttershy, it's nice to meet you. I'm Devin Xeon. Uh, okay, sorry. She certainly lives up to her name. She's practically shaking. Is this the uh, Everfree Forest? Re oh, sorry. Is the Everfree Forest really that dangerous? <laughs> it's only like the most dangerous place in Equestria. Fluttershy here is practically the only pony brave enough to go in. Besides, oh really? <sighs> and me. This mare brave? <laughs> you must be joking. She must be joking. What's so dangerous about it? It's like dark and shit. Ooh. Oh, you'll see. Don't worry though. Fluttershy will be with you, so you'll be fine. No, we should both bring the same chainsaw. Don't just worry, Fluttershy. Safe. The new guy can be a bit of a jerk, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember. 
<laughs> I remember that. <laughs> well, gotta get going, new pony. Sweetie Belle has this new idea on how to get our cutie marks. Good luck! Okay then, Fluttershy. Why exactly are we going into the forest? Oh, um, Angel and I got into an argument, so he ran off into the forest. I tried to stop him. I really did. He doesn't know what he's getting into. I know exactly what you mean. I need to take care of this. I'll bring the rifle. Do you have the ammunition? Sorry. The forest gave me a dangerous place for a little bunny. I have to go save him. It's just... It will be dark soon. I don't like the dark. Everything is so much scarier in the dark. Not for me. I'm just kidding. <sighs> Lego. Okay, guys. It is... And the end of sequence two, and I'll see you in sequence three, most likely, unless I miscalculate, which shouldn't be too hard, unless I have troubles counting from one to two to three, and yeah, damn it. So I will be seeing you uh, then. Yeah. Yeah. God, I suck at these outros, just fuck you guys. Some guy gives you 10 bits. Well, that seems like quite a guy. Thanks! I'm gonna buy drugs! But of course. <laughs> but of course! <laughs> this is the only thing you're gonna buy here for that amount of money right there. Who the? Hey, what's up? Why would you play classical music when DJ Pwn- There it is! <laughs> hey, you got me. I have a name, you know. Not like you care. How is this a promise? Here you go. My entire week's allowance. Are you serious? <laughs> That's your entire week's allowance?